Hey, my name is Christian Distello. We're here at Crossed Athletic, and Dave Castro has just released 16.3. It's a little ripper. We've got seven minutes with 10 power snatch and three bar muscle ups. It's the first time that we've seen uh, the bar muscle up introduced. So, what we'll do today, I'll just take you through a little bit of a warm up, how to attack it. Uh, we'll talk about a few little tips that I, I think might be able to help you get a few extra reps. Uh, and then, based on your uh, bar muscle up capabilities, I've got some different strategies that we'll talk about as well. So. Like the last couple of weeks, warm up. Uh, just think about mobility, uh, shoulders, hips, and thoracic spine. So a lot of overhead shoulder junction or shoulder joints is going to get a lot of work today. Make sure pec minor and pecs are warmed up before we do any bar muscle ups as well. I know that's it's, it's a pretty common exercise where we can injure our shoulder. Just make sure you're thoroughly warmed up. Have a look at the last couple of videos in terms of the warm up protocol that you can follow. Um, it's a big breather, like it's seven minutes, it's fast, it's short, it's just, you know, it's, it's going to get your heart rate up. So get your heart rate up in the warm up, uh, get sweaty, get your breathing up, and then again, think about some sort of interval, whether we're doing rowing or air dine. Uh, 20 seconds hard, 40 seconds easy, three to five, rest a couple of minutes, and then repeat that again. Okay, don't go down that lactic path, let's try and keep it highly aerobic, so we're going to be breathing. Should be no lactic in the legs and stay fresh. Cool. In terms of the tips, um, hook grip, Paramount, got to have your hook grip involved. Um, some sort of hand protection. For those people that are looking to go for the regionals, you know, it goes without saying, but you guys are going to be doing this a couple of times. I think it's a workout that you can certainly do a couple of times. Uh, just look after your hands. Um, have a strategy ready before you go, and I'm going to talk about how you guys can break it down based on your, um, on your muscle up ability. Uh, and just be efficient on that barbell. Um, there is a lot, of, a lot of time spent on that barbell, so just be efficient. Whether that's popping up the hips and bringing it up, and then going straight down to the ground or brushing your thigh, I'll let you guys decide which one's a bit more uh, comfortable for you. Um, it's a really good test of forearm strength as well. So we'll go straight in. So people that find bar muscle up tough, um, strategy, my advice, I, I look at breaking down that first set of power snatch into a 6-4, and there's no point doing it unbroken if you're only gonna get you know singles in your bar muscle up. Um, take your time, hit that bar muscle up, Try and get those singles in that first two rounds. So we're breaking down the power snatch and just hit singles and double singles if you want on the um, bar muscle up. Take your time. We don't want to have any fails in those first two sets. We all know a fail feels like it's a couple of reps. Okay, so take your time in that first couple of sets, and then you're just going to have to allow your bar muscle up capability and how you're feeling dictate your pace. Okay, you're not going to get anything out of doing unbroken power snatch stuff. You're just going to hit a roadblock. So just take your time. For the people that um, I should also add there. With your the snatching for the people that are you know find bar muscling hard, don't muscle snatch it. Just do a normal power snatch where we re bend, save those shoulders, use your legs and use your core a little bit more so you can save your arms for your um, bar muscle up. For the people that have got five or less unbroken bar muscle ups, let's look at trying to get two rounds unbroken. That's on the bar well, that's on the on the um, on the muscle ups as well. So I break down break down the power snatch on that third set. Okay, so we're gonna hit those first two sets unbroken. Take a couple of breaths and then we'll start to break down that power snatch in that third set. Get yourself settled in the workout and then go from there. Okay. Again, like I said, bar muscle up capability would dictate how fast you're going to go. People that have got sort of six to ten unbroken bar muscle ups, let's aim for sort of four unbroken rounds. Get yourself in there. We don't need to go crazy like Palladino as a teenager on, on TV just then. Just take your time, get into the groove. It's just, yeah, it's a seven minute workout, but if you guys go flying out of the box and you've done four rounds in like two minutes, it's going to be a long five minutes towards the end, okay? So just take your time. Just be consistent and just be methodical. Lastly, for the, um, for the people that have got 15 unbroken muscle ups, for you guys that want to get a really, you just got to go after it. Um, we saw muscle ups in a really break down. Power snatch is going to be breathing. It's a safe your forearms. You're going to use that hook grip. Um, it's certainly one that you, for the people who want to, uh, go big and, and get a good score, you're gonna have to repeat. You could probably do this a couple of times. I have a feeling looking at people that have already done it before, it's very similar feeling to that power snatch double under workout that we did in 11.1 and 14.1, okay, where it was 10 minutes and it was 30, 15. I think you're gonna see a uh, correlation between the people that did well in that workout and the people that do well in this workout, okay? So fire up those lungs, get those, look after those forearms, and also look after your hands, especially if you're gonna do it again and you get in there and you rip, your hands rip a little bit probably pull the pin and go again the next day. Okay. Enjoy, keep us posted on how you go, and uh, we'll see you next week.